Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tribute to Kargil Martyrs in a tweet where he also shared excerpt from his radio program Man Ki Baat, where he had spoken about these Kargil warriors, President Ramnath Kovin, Army Chief General M. M. Narwani, Air Chief Marshal R. K. S. Badoria, Navy Vice Admiral G. Ashok Kumar, and CISA Vice Admiral Atul Jain also paid tribute to the soldiers at the National War Memorial in Delhi today. Ending all speculation, veteran BJP leader B.S. Siedirappa resigned as Karnataka Chief Minister today. Before announcing his resignation, CM Yadurappa was seen breaking down on the stage. Union Home Minister Amit Shah reportedly spoke to the Chief Ministers of Assam and Mizoram, asking them to resolve the recently fled border dispute between the two states. Both the Chief Minister, Assam's Himanta Biswa Sarma and Mizoram, Zoram Thanga have agreed to resolve the issue and maintain peace and the police forces of both sides have returned from the disputed area. Dharminder is gearing up for his next film titled Rocky or Rani Ki Prem Kahani, in which he will collaborate with none other than his Shole co-star Jaya Bachchan. Sharing a throwback photo of himself with Jaya, the senior actor expressed his joy at finally sharing screen time with his goodie after such a long time. Weightlifter Mirabai Chanu received a thunderous welcome when he returned to India today after a sensational show in the ongoing Tokyo Olympics. The silver medalist underwent a mandatory RT-PCR test at the Delhi airport. Chanu had opened India's medals tally on Saturday as she bagged the silver in women's 49kg category at Tokyo International Forum.